So let's look at, I'll share my screen and let's just look at how how these companies generate the leads. And when I say lead, it's, it's contact information. So if you've never used these platforms before, um, Angie Leads specifically, you'll sign up and um, they will send you contact information from people who are looking to hire someone that provides the services you provide. So if you do, um, you know, if you do like door replacements or something like that, uh, Home Advisor will send you uh, the contact info for people that are looking for someone to come replace a door. And uh, they charge you per lead. So, you know, it, it ranges from probably like $15 all the way up to 100, maybe higher. Um, most of the ones I see are between 30 and $50 per lead. And so let's look at how they, they captured this, this info. So I'll make myself small. Um, something that you should do, like whenever you're doing research on trying to Google stuff, is open up an incognito tab or incognito window. And because Google's, if you're logged into Chrome or whatever browser, Google's going to show you stuff that that it thinks you want to see. And so you're not going to get a, a representation of what the general public would see. You're just going to get a representation of what you should Google thinks you want to see. So open on an on incognito window when you're doing this kind of research. Um, and let's just let's try that that example door replacement. Um, some Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. See what happens. So we've got a few ads up here modernize uh, this is this is like a, a kind of like a lead reselling platform um, let's just look at modernize I don't want to click on their ads because I don't want I don't want to like charge them I don't want Google to charge them for me doing this um, so that it's it's kind of like a home advisor better pros better homes uh, modernize home services helps homeowners navigate home improvement so this website is all about you know helping a homeowner through the process and really it's about capturing their contact information and then selling it to um, contractors and modernize they they are one of the lead capturing companies um, pal and sons right here they're another lead lead capturing company um, it i'll click on pal and sons because it's hard you can't really go to their site unless you do this but you'll notice like Pal and Sons door installs, voted best in Coeur d'Alene. It sounds like a real company, doesn't it? But when you go to their site, in light, light gray text, it says contractor referral experts, okay? And, you know, it's just got a little bit of info about door installations and then a, a um, request a quote. And so to the unsuspecting homeowner or consumer, they would think, oh, okay, voted best in, in my city. That sounds good. They do door replacements. Cool, I'm going to hit them up. Maybe they'll come replace my door. Um, but this company doesn't actually exist here. And if you do this search in any city in the country, Pal and Sons ad is going to pop up and it's going to say voted best in whatever city it is. And if you fill out this form, uh, just like if you fill out the form on Modernize, it's going to, your contact information is going to enter like a lead um, a lead distribution network and so you put in your info your information goes into this network and then it's purchased by lead resellers like home advisor or angie leads and i figured this out because i was always wondering why i kept seeing this pal and sons company everywhere and i filled out the form one day and somebody called me from angie's list like a contractor said hey your information just came through angie's list and i was like oh okay and, and then I talked to uh, somebody who owns an, another smaller lead reselling company and he told me how it works. He's like, you know, there's a handful of these big con conglomerate companies that have websites all over the internet that collect this information and they sell it to the highest bidder. And it's all an automated system. It's, it's all r computers doing all this stuff. And each company knows how much it can afford to bid for a lead and it knows how much it's going it needs to make from it and that's why so if you buy a lead from Angie leads or home advisor same thing uh, that lead of the official number is it goes to three contractors so they buy it from pal and sons let's just say for 20 bucks and then they sell it to three contractors for 20 bucks and they make $40 profit and 
obviously they have some overhead and stuff, but in a nutshell, that's how it works. And um, so we've got two of these lead reselling companies up here and let's let's go down a little bit so we've got angie showing up here twice we've got house house does something similar um some of these are garage doors so it maybe it thinks that i'm looking for garage doors here's angie with their ad down here let's look at another uh, example so if we do um like remodeling contractor near me let's see what google shows me so the first ad we see is angie um, we'll skip over Google Maps for now. We've got Better Business Bureau, who they are not a remodeling contractor. They're doing a very similar thing. They're trying to capture people that want something and then, you know, take a cut to connect them to an, a producer, a contractor. Thumbtack does something very similar. There's Angie again, Howes, Yelp, Kyle Construction. This is my family's company. Uh, top bathroom remodel. I don't know if that's an actual company or not. And networks, that's another lead reseller. So, you know, how they capture the leads is they, these companies invest a ton of money on being on the first page of Google. Like that's it. Uh, you can pay Google to run ads. Angie and all these other companies, they run ads for every service in pretty much every city in the country. And they capture that info and then they resell it on. And the idea is great because, you know, if if there aren't very many contractors that have figured out how to get online, then these big companies can produce, you know, they, they provide a service of allowing these contractors to get work. Um, I just think over the years, that's just become unnecessary because it's there's a very low barrier to entry now to getting a website. Uh, getting a, a Google My Business listing or being on Google Maps, which is this box right here, is free. And, you know, it's just kind of the value that they provide has gone away over the years. And since there's so many real companies with websites and, and competing to be found on Google these days, the price of being found on the front page of Google has gone up. And so these companies, they have to pay more and more. They have to invest more and more to be seen first so that they can capture that information and they pass the costs onto the contractors. Another thing that, that that's happened, and I don't know exactly why, we can, we can speculate, but they've started gathering leads from anywhere and everywhere they possibly can. So if you go to this Modernize website and you read articles about home improvement stuff, you have a million chances to put in your contact information and it they always sell it as like oh do you know find local pros and it makes it seem like if you're an unsuspecting homeowner like oh you know they probably I'll, I'll fill out this form and then I'll be able to pick and choose like some good contractors in my area but as soon as you fill out the form your information is being passed on and sold to somebody and a lot of people are unaware of this. They're, they don't realize this is going to happen because they don't, they don't outright say that. They don't say, hey, as soon as you fill out this form, we're going to sell your information to some professionals. Um, and if they did, I think they should um, because some people will want that and that's perfectly fine. You know, That's when there's actually a service being provided. But when people are unsuspectingly having their contact information sold, it just it it sucks for everybody because they don't want to get called and the professionals calling them are wasting their time and money pursuing these jobs that don't exist and you know I'm not just speculating on this happening because people call me all the time telling me that this happens all the time multiple people a week call me and they say things like um, most of the people I call don't answer or return my calls no matter how many times I contact them and then a lot of people that do answer the phone say we've been called by eight different people and maybe they're exaggerating but we've been called by a bunch of different people and we didn't even want to get called by anybody and so there's some kind of disconnect happening you know we can argue why it is or you know a lot of people say oh well i know somebody who who built their entire business on angie's list or and stuff like that i do too i know multiple people that have done that and of the people I know that have done that, 
they just this year they're saying okay well after this last six months it's really gone downhill i need to find something else um but i think it's still possible to do that 